നമസ്കാരം വാട്ട് ഷുഡ് ബി ദ മിനിമം മാർക്കപ്പ് മാർക്കപ്പ് പ്രൈസ് സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഗിവിംഗ് എ ഡിസ്കൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റി സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് സിക്സ് സിക്സ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ദർ ഈസ് നോ ലാസ് നോ മാപ്പ് ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഈസ് ഫ്രോം വിച്ച് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇൻ അവർ കോഴ്സ് ദിസ് ഈസ് വെരി വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് മൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ദിസ് മാപ്പിംഗ് വിൽ പ്ലേ എ കീ റോൾ ഇൻ മാസ്റ്ററിംഗ് ദ സി സാറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് വി ഡോൺ ഹാവ് മെനി ചാപ്റ്റർസ് വി ഡോൺ ഹാവ് മെനി കോൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫാമുലേ limited chapters limited concepts limited formulae all you have to do is mapping the questions which chapter this question belongs to in that chapter what are all the concepts you have and just see which concept which formula applies to that problem as simple as this again i am telling you most of the aspirants who didn't qualify the cs at this is the key mistake they are making every time we solve a question in daily doses we are mapping the questions this question is based on this chapter and these are the formulas in that chapter this is very very important and it will play a key role in mastering the csat my friend so kindly follow this one now in this question you have the terms loss discount so this question is based on profit and loss very straight now in this chapter we have only one formula okay that is 1 plus x is equal to s by c this is the only one formula you have to think in terms of this formula only my friends now this concept is very important kindly be here with me for a few minutes you bought a product at cost to price c this is the cost to price you are selling at this price selling price is s now profit or loss my friends okay that is s minus c if s minus c is positive that means we made the profit okay selling price is greater than cost price then only it will be positive that means we made the profit if s minus c is negative that means we made loss when it will be negative when selling price is less than cost price my friends okay then only it will be negative so formula for profit or loss is same it just that selling price minus cost price if it is positive then you made the profit if it is negative then you made the loss clear right so this difference is profit or loss we want profit or loss percentage my friends okay profit or loss percentage that will be calculated based on cost price how much profit you made on this cost price how much loss you made on this cost price so profit or loss the percentages will be calculated based on the cost price the initial price my friends okay that is c so profit or loss this is in percentages that is equal okay s minus c profit or loss by based on cost price in 200 this is percentage now for time being okay let's take profit only s by c minus c by c i am just expanding this term my friends okay in 200 this whole in 200 percentage now percentage symbol on both sides gets cancelled out p by 100 is equal to s by c minus 1 okay so i am bringing this one this side 1 plus p by 100 is equal to s by c i am taking this as small h okay 1 plus x is equal to s by c this is the formula we are using my friends we have simplified it so that you can remember it very easily because in most of the problem they will give either profit percentage or loss percentage they will give cost or selling price you have to find out other one so from this formula it is very straight now see if profit is 30 percentage then this h will be 30 by 100 see p is 30 so h will be 30 by 100 essentially you have to convert this 30 percentage into normal values because on the left side one this is normal value not percentage this is normal value on the right side s by c selling price by cost price again that's a normal value not in not in percentage so you have to convert this into normal value my friends okay you cannot write 30% here because it's a normal value it's a normal value this has to be normal so you have converted 30% as normal value into normal value that is 30 by 100 if it is 60 60 by 100 now let's say you want to convert this x into profit percentage okay what you have to do you have to multiply this x with 100 my friends because you know to convert percentage into normal value you have divided by 100 now you want to convert this normal into percentage what you have to do you have to multiply with 100 see 
x is equal to p by 100 you want p right so p is equal to x in 200 as simple as this now to sum it up this is the only formula we have in profit and loss chapter my friends okay profit or loss the values okay that is selling price minus cost price if it is positive then we made the profit if it is negative then we made the loss now profit percentage or loss percentages are given then 1 plus x is equal to s by c okay you take x positive if it is profit you take x negative if it is loss this x again you have to convert this percentage into normal values okay because here 1 is normal value s by c is normal value so you have to convert that uh, p or l into normal values my friends okay if it is 60 percentage okay normal value would be 60 by 100 if it is a 20 percentage normal value will be 20 by 100 as simple as this profit take positive okay loss take negative x as negative so in this equation any two values will be given you will be asked to find out third one h and s will be given you will be asked to find c cost price okay otherwise these two will be given you will be asked to find profit or loss percentage to convert this x value into percentage you just have to multiply with 100 my friends okay because here you have divided with 100 so to convert it into percentage you have to multiply with 100 clear right let's say using this formula you got x as 0.1 that means profit percentage is 0.1 into 100 that is equal 10 percent okay let's say you got x as minus 0.2 that means you incurred loss okay how much 0.2 into 100 that is a 20 percent 20 percent loss minus means loss my friends okay when you are mentioning the word loss you no need to mention minus okay either you mention loss okay otherwise you mention negative not both i hope this is clear okay loss 20 percent clear right so we are done with profit or loss now one more thing will be coming in this chapter is discount my friends okay see a product is marked at 100 rupees however it sold at 90 rupees this is mark price this is selling price their difference is the discount my friends how much discount you are getting here 10 rupees okay that's the discount value what about discount percentage discount percentage is okay is based on is based on mark price my friends okay it's based on mark price because you are gi giving the discount using mark price as base value okay as base value now percentage percentage on both sides gets cancelled out d by 100 is equal to m by m minus s by m now see this is 1 minus s by m now from these two 1 minus d by 100 is equal to s by m i am taking d by 100 as x 1 minus x is equal to s by m this is same as that formula right 1 plus x is equal to s by c here we can have profit or loss when it comes to discount it's always negative discount is always negative you have the initial price as m but you are giving at s that's why it is negative the value we are going to get here is negative see here initial price is c final price is s so 1 plus x is equal to s by c if initial price is c final price is s that means loss you will be having here 1 minus x is equal to s by c loss initial price m final price s 1 minus x is equal to s by m when it comes to discount you have selling price and mark price my friends okay when it comes to profit or loss you have selling price and cost price as simple as this see you can give discount on mark price only right and a profit or loss those are based on cost price right and selling price will be there in both cases so this is the summary of what we have taught till now profit or loss okay that's the difference between selling price minus cost price my friends if it turns positive then you made profit if it turns negative then you have incurred losses 1 plus x is equal to s by c this is the only formula you have in this chapter okay profit or loss involves selling price and cost price 
okay you take x as positive when it comes to profit you take it as negative when it comes to loss here you have normal value normal value x also should be normal if percentage profit percentage is given let's say a 10 percentage profit you convert it into normal value what is that you have to divide with 100 so let's say you got x as a 0.1 you have to convert it into you know percentage then you multiply it with 100 as simple as this now the discount my friends okay discount is difference between mark price and selling price you have the mark price first but you want to sell at lower price okay so 1 minus x is equal to s by m when it comes to discount these are the two things involved here mark price and the selling price mark price is the base on which you are giving the discount my friends okay you are selling at lesser price that means 1 minus x discount will be always less that's why you are having minus x here clear right so please please don't get into all kinds of formula this is the only formula you have when it comes to profit and loss okay 1 plus x is equal to s by c when it comes to discount you have here 1 minus x that would be s by m because discount involves selling price and mark price simple right now see here discount percentage given we are talking about discount so the formula we should be using here is 1 minus x is equal to s by m now 66.66 percentage okay that is equal 200 by 3 percentage my friends because we know 2 third is equal 0 0.6666 we have seen this in percentages chapter my friends okay we have a table where we have jot down the values of all those fractions questions will be always like this examiner don't want to complicate yeah okay don't want to complicate the problem he just wants to test your understanding of the concepts numbers will be always like this okay two third is 0 0.6666 otherwise one third that is 0 0.3333 here you have 66.66 so you have to multiply with 100 here okay on both sides so 200 by 3 percentage so we can write 66.66 percentage as 200 by 3 percentage now we have to convert this percentage into normal values because we have one normal value s by m as normal value here so 200 by 3 into 1 by 100 this percentage symbol essentially means 1 by 100 100 100 cancels out this is 2 by 3 as simple as this 1 minus 2 by 3 is equal to s by m this is 1 by 3 s by m now see in this problem there is no loss what is the loss formula s minus c no loss means loss is 0 s minus c that means selling price is equal to cost price so 1 by 3 is equal to c by m because s is c my friends okay so m is equal to 3c so if cost price is 100 rupees then mark price would be 300 rupees my friends okay what is the difference 200 okay 200 percentage you have to mark up minimum so that there will be no loss here otherwise you can make use of percentages concept as well mark up percentage okay that would be final minus initial by initial into 100 percentage okay what is the final value okay 3c initial value is c by c into 100 okay that is a 2c by c into 100 this is 200 percentage see markup price always based on cost price my friends okay i mean you mark your price with respect to cost price whereas discount is with respect to mark price i hope you are getting you have cost price 100 rupees and mark price 300 rupees you know mark price you you mention with respect to cost price okay here the difference is 200 200 percentage so initial value is 100 okay that is a c final value is 3c initial value c so you do this okay you would be getting 200 percentage so our answer is d see i'm not teaching anything new here all that you know i just made few things simpler these all things we have seen in percentages chapter as well you know make learning whatever you learn but easy easy to remember even if you forgot the formulas easy to derive okay comparison and learning that will make the things easier and interesting my friends okay 
this is the only formula you have in this chapter okay when it comes to discount 1 minus x is equal to s by m because discounts are calculated based on mark price right and you mark the price based on cost price okay when you want to find out the percentage okay final minus initial by initial into 100 the initial is a cost price here so we have ample amount of questions in profit and loss chapter daily dose of solved questions go to them just use this formula my friends okay you can solve any problem thank you